Step 3. Choose Neural Tools Settings. There are three buttons in the Neural Nets group of the Neural Tools ribbon that enable you to choose the settings you want. You can often choose all of the required settings from just the Train button, and this is the case here. Basically, you have to choose how or whether to partition the data, which algorithm to use, and the runtime criteria for the algorithm. To partition the data, click the Train button to bring up the following training dialog box and make sure the Train tab is visible. You can usually accept the defaults as shown. This indicates that a randomly selected 20% of the cases will be held out for testing. The other 80% will be used for training. It also indicates that any cases with missing values of the dependent variable, the first five cases in this data set, will be used for prediction. That is, the values of their independent variables will be fed to the trained neural net to obtain wine type predictions. The live prediction option means that if you then change the values of the independent variables for these five cases, the predictions will update automatically. To select the algorithm, click the Net Configuration tab to get the following dialog box. The drop down list provides three choices for training the neural net. The details of how these work is very complex, so it is usually best to accept the default choice, in this case, the PNGRN net. You can read the explanation of it in the dialog box. Note that the Perform Linear Regression option is disabled unless the dependent variable is specified as numeric. To select the Runtime criteria, click the Runtime tab to get the following dialog box. It is very difficult to know how long the training algorithm should run before it, quote, stabilizes. Therefore, it is a good idea to accept the default shown here. Now it is your turn. Click the Train button and look at the three tabs in the resulting dialog box. You can experiment with the settings, but it is fine to accept all of the defaults.